All right, now we see just how shit team we can draft. Okay, now I'm excited for this one. I haven't seen reverse captains draft very much. My hard carry can't be that this cute. That's that's a good name. That's actually an amazing. Yeah, like, I think little... we I think we, we got this one. Ah, oh, <laughs> wait. Dire no team. one's gonna. They, wait, like, wait. So no. how does this work? We show. The... Is the ban over here? They've banned techies for us, or is that we've banned techies? For us. I, I believe I believe it's all back to front. Okay. So, because yeah. the, when they did the reverse captains, they never changed this name. shit. So it's yeah. I think the ban right now is actually happening Radiant like team like you ban the Bloodseeker, and we ban the Techies, which is really fucking stupid. Because you Dire you pick for the opposition, bad. and no one's gonna pick you a Techies. I don't know. Yeah, so it's the, gonna be the, the the key to doing this kind of stuff is to pick like a, a team, either like entirely seconds, really slow name. melee heroes and no stuns. That's kind of the key to reverse captain. No mode. stuns would be good. I think if you pick too many melee heroes, you can get into the trouble where a lot of them because they scale exactly. really well into uh, later. Where if you just let them farm, okay, a husker ban out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's actually okay, not okay. that bad to have. <laughs> husker actually has some. Some parts where he he actually does really good laning. So, yeah, no, I I agree. Also, in these matches, we don't know how skilled everyone is, right? Like Huskar can take advantage of your chaos, your lack of coordination. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, guys, we're doing reverse captains mode. That's where the enemy team picks for you. We're gonna see how it goes down. Damn, I have no team. idea how this one's gonna work out. Normally, you try and ban the Five shittest heroes out there. Which I like. Why would you ban a Chen? <laughs> Like, there's no point to ban a Chen. Reserve time. No one's ever going to say, I will pick you a Chen. I don't know. I, I would actually, yeah, I would I, I would give a te team a Chen, though. Because if you know that they don't know how to use it, if you think, like, there's a chance nobody what? knows how to play it. You gave, you gave us a Keeper of the Light? Thank you Are for you the crazy? follow, Glenn. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, too. I think Coddle's a really strong hero. Um... Are we gonna take like a Night Stalker then or something? Or are we gonna try to give them a Night Stalker and a Coddle? Because like that's the only I think that Night Stalker and Coddle are still both really good. Well, we're we're giving you heroes now. So okay, I, I'm not I really don't believe in this cook tribe. Like you meant you said you carried Nigma yesterday. I'm not believing in this draft. <laughs> no, it's Lycan. Lycan's like maybe nobody plays Lycan. You get some good he's, shit. He's still really good for laning. That's Because he gives everyone the boost with Hal, so technically, like all three lanes are gonna get massive buffs. Maybe and you get... I don't know. Maybe they're planning on. Okay. I'll... Oh, oh. Okay. I feel like not, team not team. the other way around. Wait. What? What? Who is which? Radiant team. That's the thing. Oh. I'm not sure which side are we, guys. What? Because if... so, so visually, is it showing us the wrong way around? Because I don't think that's the case. I think the picking is showing as like reverse. So right now, Ten like your team, remaining. like Llama's team is giving us intelligence heroes, and like, we got Wisp as well as Connell, like together. And we gave them back in return, Elder Titan and Lycan. Reserve time. I'm not. I believe that's what's happened. We have Lycan, is what Jacobo says. Jacobo says that we have the Lycan. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think our lineup is looking incredibly. Wait, so, so so he he picks the Keeper of the Light. I guess? Or, or well, Waluj did, since Waluj is that one. I We'll find out in a second, Toby. Let's just let's just Wait, be confused if, all up in this video. Okay, because right now, like, if I have the Lycan and the ET, I'm feeling Dire a lot more comfortable with my back. team. I know, I would prefer Lycan ET, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like, that shit's actually kind of good together. The Wisp and Coddle will actually be, it's gonna be really hilarious if you draft a whole bunch of heroes who you th actually think don't do that much damage. Ten and in this game, remaining. it will be the case. Axe will be fine. Five seconds remaining. Just look up I think of like all the other heroes Reserve who are like time. pieces of shit. I think um, I would give a team... Okay, if I want to really give them a really awful hero... Um, okay, Pugna isn't... It could be used in, well uh, against Pug certain things, Pugna but I feel is... like Pugna's pretty weak right now. Um, I like the CM ban. I actually really like CM, but I think that there's she's 
it, especially if your team got stuck with a CM after this, it would be really rough. Oh, CM would be great because you could just like flash farm Diet inside the jungle. Back. Yeah, but she's gonna get beaten up by right now by like a like an elder type. Probably. Titan. Got like. No I, I would actually. I would um. I would actually consider giving him something like a Venomancer. Um. Who else is really Ten really shit right remaining. now? Like you can do Venom You could you could look at someone like Timbersaw. Like is this, is a no stun hero? So that could work. Everyone else kind of does enough, but it's worth picking. Yeah, like, I think the it's... Alchemist will be the only other hero which I think could be shit. But if this turns into a passive game, the Alchemist Dire is going to be good. Pick. I think it's like really rough to suggest like giving them meepo my, my stream is like oh yeah you should give someone so meepo and it's like no I, what if one of your team members is actually like really good on meepo you know yep so if i get this right naga then <laughs> hello naga um Radiant we ban the cm as well as the sd because we don't want to have too much like of these intelligence no damage heroes because we need some physical damage or else the Lycan is never going to die. Oh, I, wh what? We gave you AA? Are you kidding? Yeah, you're, you're trying to get the weakest heroes onto the map. I don't know. I think... Our a laning presence is really good. Yeah, like... It doesn't matter if the heroes are weak, if they can get a shit ton of farm in lane. I would... I would be... I would be scared. Yeah. It's probably the worst of what's left, though. Maybe. We'll and, so I, I can understand that. Ten seconds remaining. Just give them Visage. People, like, what are the odds of someone on your team being a Meepo picker and that we should five just give them Meepo? I don't know, knowing our luck, like, you have five people. Odds get Do a lot better. Like... Okay, whoever said in the Reserve chat just then you want to give us Oracle or Winter Wyvern, that is not the play. <laughs> like, yeah, I guys think... guys actually do... The like, laning would be so strong. Damage. Like, your laning phase would be ridiculous. Yeah, we'd have to win it there very, very early on because we'd have no mid game. <laughs> no yeah. mid game. Is also, mid right game. now we have song into Earth Splitter. Like, mm -hmm. we got some easy shit. Yeah, you guys actually have physical damage, and my team does not. That's if this is the way, right, the right way around. <laughs> Okay, we're we're dipping in deep into reserve time. I would say Pugna is maybe okay because like right now the my hard carry doesn't have many spellcasters too much, you know. Even if they get down a Pugna ward, are you really are you really getting wrecked that hard? No, but you the Nether Blast will allow you to force down buildings very quickly, so you could actually win in the early game just off money. That's another good point, actually. If we give them the Pugna, then suddenly they have tower push. Yeah. And it's like, they actually we're have nothing we're currently, right like, now. There is no tower push. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Like oh, okay. I don't, team I don't know if we have a Visage player. <laughs> How hard is a Visage to play? Walk up, Grave Chill, Solo, I mean, you can play no birds, but the hero is way better if you can use birds. It's like giving them half a hero, you know? If you're going to say you play it no birds. Yeah, they are actually going to give Dazzle. If they give Dazzle, Dazzle an Oracle, back. I'm going to laugh my fucking ass off. I, I, okay, we just, I, I, I get that they're squishy, but, I mean, they could, like, give us, okay, they wouldn't, but I'm just saying, okay, like, so your if, lineup if is so team, in. If my team is tuning in right now, are you trying to work out, like, how to actually lane this Five and what to do? Remaining. The best thing you can do is actually run a Wisp in the mid. Uh, and you run a Dazzle as a core. His attack is actually quite good. So you build uh, damage dealing items into him. Even something like an only Desolator would be terrific. You can then, um, you couple him with one other on that safe lane, uh, on, the, on the off lane, like a Keeper of the Light, and then put Ancient Apparition plus one on the safe lane. And Five whoever that is, plus remain. one is at the end. Like, like, it's highly unlikely they can pick up another Intel hero Reserve which won't do damage. Now, I think, I don't know, you I'm not, eight, uh, I think both of these drops are actually not the worst thing I've ever seen so far. Like, no, I was, I don't, I don't know this... what I was expecting, but for reverse captains, maybe something more awful. I'm a lot more worried with our draft. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real problematic draft. I don't know if you have much face running. 
Yeah, we, we, we don't have we don't have damage. Like that's our primary problem is we just don't have damage. Dire team pick. Yeah, you go Deso Dazzle, and then just like go yeah, just carry down. Dazzle. Like he can never die. Shallow Grave himself with the IO, just run at them. We're not killing mm -hmm. anyone. I'm trying to think of what like the worst lineup would be for this. I'm I'm just I think it's actually hard to make a super awful awful. It used to be a lot easier. Remaining. Yeah. But a lot of heroes got balanced to a point where they all can do something. Alright, so that's actually, Radiant that's not a bad pick, pick at the last point. Like, you give him, like, potentially stun and good laning. And that's actually the only guaranteed stun is curse. Uh, and ensnare. Um, but it stops, it stops them from giving us life. La Mambo. La Mambo. Thank you for the follow, Easy. I hope you have a good day, and let's get into it. Okay. Oh, oh. And there it is, the Meepo. I don't think that was a good idea. I think that was actually the horrible, horrible idea. Please now they have Dazzle me. Meepo combo. Please. We please have lost. We, we have, have, have lost. Please tell me we have a Meepo player. Please tell me we have a Meepo player. If we have a Meepo player, we're good. I, I think that your lineup's actually really good right now because of the Meepo. <gasps> Although we have Wyvern. Oh, that's why we picked Meepo for them. I think we that's, picked Meepo because we have still, the Wyvern. That's still not good because you don't have enough damage you can yeah. pump out during a Wyvern ulti. In fact, you actually help the Meepo when you do that. We'll see. We'll have to see exactly how it goes. Oh, God, this is... Yeah, so I, I'm still with the Dazzle being a core. Uh... It may even be worth it pumping more money into the Keeper of the Light and running him as the mid. <laughs> So, crap, like our top player is gonna take the meat, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, CCs. DCs, it's the way. Apparently, I think some of these weird game modes drop people, you know? Maybe. I'm like 100% sure that Cooked Crab knows how to play Meepo. Meepo is more lead. I think we're in trouble. But I will believe in my team. Uh, your team has more DCs, so clearly we're off to a good start already here in House Llama. Oh, tell me, Cook Crab, you can actually carry this. <laughs> I'm like 100% sure. Come on, he he beat Kuro in mid. There's no way in hell he doesn't know how to play Meepo. Like a lot of he, the. He may have also just had like a like a nuka, like and won that way. I mean, I think uh, the majority of. Oh yeah, sorry, the game score is incorrect. It's one one. Yeah, it's one one. So... Sorry, ignore that. Either way, whoever wins this one goes on through. To I don't even know who would be playing up against. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Odie's head? Uh, we play up against either Purge or Wicked Cosplay. Okay, well, we'll be seeing them, seeing how it, it goes. Uh, yeah, I, I, okay, this Meepo began with Poor Man. Oh, uh, uh, we can uh, say it. Uh, They're probably only just listening. Um, do you see a different building? Uh, what where? is this? What is this thing? This guy. This guy. Oh, shit. Can we TP on that sometimes? Oh, I, no, so that's a bug. That's an effigy bug, right? That's a jade effigy okay. underneath a ziggurat. You know how a while okay. back, a few patches ago, there was the building you could TP to into the enemy's base? I don't know. There no. was, okay, so there was this bug where an allied, so you'd be radiant, and there would be, like, a building in their base that you could see, and it was, like, really weird because it would be put right on top of one of the other ziggurats so they, like, couldn't attack it, and then you could TP to it, and, like, you could misclick TP into their base. It was super weird. Super weird. I actually think your team is good oh, because I think your laying I... is really nice. Yeah, I, I really don't mind this. And I, I think that she made like an even a better choice the with the lanes. Begins. Where like you run a Meepo PMS. Um, God, they're doing Meepo runs... mid. This guy knows yeah, how to play it. It looks, like, it looks like a Meepo mid. And then the Wisp and Dazzle run the safe dual lane. And then the off lane is the Ancient Reparation and Coddle. Yep. We'll but see. They'll still, have, they'll still have issues with the, uh, with the Wyvern. 
I have a lot of faith in this Elder Titan as well. I've seen Elder Titan be, like, I think it's a hero that people think is really weak right now, and I'll, I think it can be surprisingly strong, right? Those Earth Splitters? Up, up against a lack of physical damage? Yeah, yeah. he's going to be very good. So, we'll have to see exactly how it goes down, but, oh, this is, yeah, this is a no-kill lane up on top. Uh, unless, unless he walks in, like, point-blank range on, like, four dire creeps, then, yeah. Well, okay. Hello, Ayo. Not, not, not the dream. But at least he can tether over to the dazzle and do that. Oh, this is, yeah, he stops the pull. I think I don't Reaction. think anything will die now. Okay, Meepo versus Naga Siren mid. This is not something I've seen before. I have no idea who's going to come out on top. In the early stages, Naga will definitely win this lane. Uh, not because of like physical harassment against the Meepo. Um, but just because, like, Riptide is just so damn good. But Cook Crab, like, this is his advantage. Like, it's a Meepo mid. You're going to get runes almost every single time. Bottom lane, why'd you cheat? No, 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 no. Go Wolf. Oh, it's not, not, not nearly enough, yeah. Um, he should probably also be able to get a little bit more efficiency out of the jungle, though if our Naga's any good, she'll also end up stacking. We'll see how it goes. What is happening up in top? Okay, the, we got the, some spirits. The... Oh, punch him! Punch him! Oh, I think our dude DC. Oh no, he's fine. Uh, he's, he's, just... he's okay. He just like stopped thinking and yeah. smell the roses. Exactly. Oh, sh see, this is a no kill ba lane. They got it, shallow grave. They got they, IO they got, tether. Got, oh, first blood auto tether. The... Oh, Jacoba. Wow, really? Are they Pretty lagging or something? Really? Okay, we got it. We got it. Just, it just took us a while. I don't know tether what's going on. Tether to the wave. Tether to the wave. Uh, uh, issues, 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 issues. I'm gonna check everyone's ping because I don't know why everybody's like pausing in lane randomly. No, I don't see any reason people should be pausing in lane. Although Vera, who is playing on, who who is this person? Oh, okay. The poor Wyvern does have 400 ping. <laughs> hard, hard he's he's your 1K player as well. Oh. Okay, so you we can't actually blame him for anything that happens in this match. Like, what if he's just 1k because he's got 400 ping? Um, Dog Spawn played yesterday for Toby. Oh, no, for you or for someone else? What? Did Dog Spawn play for you yesterday or for someone else? Well, he might have played for me. I don't remember. I have to see. Oh, uh, cooked. He's fine. This is one thing I, do, I don't like, the whole that I have no quick way to check if Meepo's in trouble because of the multi-health balls. So, mm -hmm. that's always... <laughs> I don't know, it's very anticlimactic. I was kind of expecting, I don't know what, but I was kind of expecting your AA Coddle lane to do more damage, but I guess they're both spells that are easier to dodge. Yeah. You won't really see much out of this lane anyway until like a little bit later on. But the Keeper of the Light should definitely be um, harassing more with that mana leak. Let's see, we got a mango up on my side. Can Chocobo get some nice soul assumption stacks up? He's, he's just running at them. Okay. Okay, Chocobo, you've taken half your health. Oh gosh, oh gosh, he has a fairy fire. I think Chocobo's dead. He's gonna try. Oh, the lost bull, though. Okay, he's fine. That's actually really fucking good. You're safe. Right, well, that was unnecessary. I think everybody's gonna walk away. Oof. It actually really costs him because he doesn't have enough mana for a Shadow Wave. Now he does. Well, they lost the tether. Tether, 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 tether. You're What's still being bottom? healed in clarity. Healed in clarity. Doing some pounding in bottom using that nice chillin' touch. What, what build is this AA gone? Oh, just 1 1 1 so far. I like it. Oh, we have a pause by Cooked Crab. He's got so much weight in his shoulders. <laughs> He's like the only true core. Like you've got potentially like four four heroes that could be played as core. Even the visage like used to be at like a one position hero until he got changed. But he can still slow like slip back into the role. Like two years ago he was played as a mid core. I, I don't know. I think uh, Meepo could, especially if he gets a little bit... Oh, he's doing good calls, Don. Um, I think if he gets a little bit of farm here, you know, he starts using that illusion, as you said, getting all the runes, getting some stacks up, he can snowball. 
up the oh, wazoo. Yeah. Definitely. So. I'd actually prefer to see also um, some jungle stacking happening for him. Yeah. Even I'm... if he's going to like do it himself. But the Wisp has to stay on this top lane with the Dazzle. Actually, no, he doesn't. I think he just fucking stay. Like, you almost like, look at this top lane as the sack lane. But the Keeper of the Light doesn't have enough CS on the bottom lane for me to justify that. Like... No, I think... I think they could actually just have Io stack a bunch and Dazzle can, like, soak, right? Because your Io's gonna get a bunch of calm when he soaks up with the stacks as well. <laughs> My chat is complaining that we're not flaming our players enough, but we we like our players. They're doing well so far. They're... Sorry, are, are, we, are we being too constructive? <laughs> would, would you like me to flame the living shit out of, out of Cook Crab for misusing a poop? Did he miss right a CS, now? Toby? He has. He's missed CS. No, he, Clearly he a scrub. Un he proofed underneath the tier 1 tower. Um... <laughs> Like, he, he he meant to proof one of his uh, Meepo's back, short range, but he ended up proofing both of his Meepo's Ooh. at the same time. This is what I mean. I think, like, I don't know. I think he'll figure it out. If he's such a... I think he's a good player. He'll, he'll get... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I spoke to... I just jinxed him. I think he may actually just feed here. Yeah. Um, he, he needs oh, no, Earthbind. Uh, he really needs Earthbind. But he's, he's going for this huge, like, lane kind of presence. But Earthbind is, like, the bread and butter of any Meepo. But he went for two points up in freaking Geo Strike, yeah. and it... then two points up in proof. Because if he has, if he has it now, oh, oh they almost no. Oh, Belouge may that actually give his actually life. actually so good from Walu. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, he dodged the damage of one of the proofs. He could have easily died to that. Yeah. Because the Wisp just needs to do this kind of stuff, like just smack him with the balls. Well played there. Well played from both sides. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised at the lack of Earthbind. I feel like that just allows you, as you said, you smack people. But maybe maybe he just doesn't want it. He's a bit worried. I don't know what their ping is, you know? <laughs> they were meant to flame everyone. Well, this Dazzle like, is like, getting th chased. This, this would make so much more sense, like, because there's one stack inside the Dark Jungle at the moment. I like, would make so much more sense. Thank you for the follow, Nestle! Because then you could just poop the flash up. Yeah. And that would work. Well, we'll see. Hopefully the IO is going to rotate off. And oh no, what is going on? I said Dazzle was being chased, but I didn't really mean it. This whole assumption not enough. Okay, Jacobo. Next time. Next time. Bottom lane, though. That's that's oh, where that's where the dream is. Oh. Your IO with the. Well, we only got the wife, and that like is so fucking low. Yeah, this is like the fourth time he's been low down there too. So uh, like like him doing some cooked, good work. Cooked, please, Earthbind. Just one, just one point up in Earthbind. It's so good. Like you actually want to have Earthbind up to level four. The range is too damn good. Oh no, your Dazzle is in a rock and a hard place, just slowly dying. Yeah. Jacobo will not be almost, able to get the curry. <laughs> he almost got the curry. Yeah, kill. If it's but Naga's forced back, at least that's a, an upside. And Meepo is now. Yeah, there's your there's your flashy. Yeah. Now Meepo's gonna get into. Also, your team is putting a lot of pressure on her bottom tower. That is that is not a fun place to be. Upside is Keeper of the Light doesn't have enough mana to- Okay, now we can shock her. Uh, I'm- I like Mana Link, but sometimes it's like, is it- I mean, I guess he only put one point in it, it's fine. It's- it's definitely worth it up against the Lycan, because you stop him from summoning two lots of wolves. Like, that's kind of like the upside. And Wyvern's mana costs are fairly expensive. Thank you for the follow, Atticus Goot. Middle lane is dead. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, oh, where is he? Maybe he can poof out. Can he just poof away? Oh, no. he did not no, 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 poof he didn't. away. Didn't he have a dude somewhere? Yeah, oh. he did. He did. Well, that, that happens to the best of us. You know, sometimes you mean to poof one way, you poof the other. Next thing you know, you're eating glimmer capes. It's no great, guys. It's no great. Um... Are, also, there are three down bottom. Our, our Lycan is looking a bit sad. He actually has really good farm, considering how this lane is awful. Um, Impressed, Lycan. Let me rephrase that. On the scale of farm in this game, he has good farm. God, that is... Splinter Blast does so much work when yeah. they run a tri lane like this. Well, also because I didn't even think of this, but obviously my my team made it clear that they're like picked you guys a really weak uh, hero pool, you know, like all in heroes. Shit like Splinter Blast is gonna do so much more work as is as we talked about the Elder Titan, Natural Order. Mm -hmm. Like they're just so squishy and there's not much they can do. Like these oh. heroes don't have the stack gain. I think you're killing on Naga though. I don't think we are. <laughs> they they really want to. The upside is that Wisp is invis. 
Oh yeah, I oh, couldn't yeah. even tell. Oh, that... in. Earth find. Earth find. Earth find. Oh. And then... Oh god. Okay, that's probably one of the reasons why he didn't skill it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also, can't you... You can mirror image off Earth find, I think, but not the second one. I, I don't know exactly, though. I guess he might be worried that it's too easy for Naga to escape. Also, oh no, our Elder Titan's going Midas. Dyer's top tower I, is under attack. Okay, we'll see how that works out for us. I'm, also... I'm okay with this. Remember, you're still looking for a whole bunch of like really solid cores. Yeah. Like if you can, if you can have your cores and build into the late game, then you're gonna win because like our team cannot take your towers unless the Meepo gets picked. Oh. If the Meepo, like the entire oh. game is in the back of the Meepo right now. Your power already has a mech. Happens. Yeah. Please. Like that's pretty Shallow, good. Shallow, shallow. Right. And at the same time, in bottom lane, you're killing off my poor little god man. Uh, we'll he worry goes about Lycan. Oh, I, I don't know if we're getting this. I don't. Oh, okay, Lycan. Oh, he wants it. He's got it. He's he's going ham. You die he gets on out. Yeah, that needs to be a Meepo TP for that to change. Yeah, you guys, we've done a good job making sure. We talked about it in the draft, but like, we have Stomp and arguably Winter's Curse and Naga Siren Song and Net, and you guys have got like Cold Feet and Earthbind. Mm-hmm. It's not... Yeah, we, we, we may have won the draft. I don't believe we'll necessarily win the game, though. I am really excited oh, to no, see no. these. This, this, this game is looking really good for you right now. you got three heroes who actually have enough money to be seen as proper cause. I am excited, though, for when Cook Crab hooks up with the Dazzle. Somebody gets a blasted. We'll be going down. It's Lycan, though. He's been getting away with murder in this bottom lane. He's probably going to get murdered himself soon. All they gotta do is like, okay, well, this. Mm. Come on, come on, run I away, little bird. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, oh. No, missed it. Wopped it completely. How, how did it? It was right between the two of them. Yeah. Oof. Uh, in middle lane though. Oh. Father. Dude, this is actually. Why would your team pick us, Naga? I don't know. That was. That they probably was... thought it was weak because Loda lost with it. It's like the <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. I think I think Naga, I, like, I'm surprised we gave away Meepo, but I think Naga's of equal worrisomeness because, like, you just gave away here. Oh, now she might be okay. Boop Not bump. Boop bump. And again, it's so good on the mirror image. Oh. And then also having ET just there, chillaxing. Radiant's bottom tower is under this attack. This is looking good for us to push a big tower. Structures are fortified. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe though, you guys, can you relocate and ever mode and motor everyone? What does that look like? How do you guys get your your action on? Our guys? Yeah, like uh, there has to be the some. Only, oh, the no. only person you'd relocate on is um or with is the dazzle. But you still need the Dazzle to be doing more damage. You just, we yeah. just lost fucking Ancient Apparition on bottom lane, and we just lost the uh, Keeper of the Light too. Like, you, we gave him Lycan. Like, come on. Like, this is this is not the thing. Yeah, I can't even... I'm not even... I don't feel like I could have helped if your team wants to give away Lycan. God, just touch your cheap boys. <laughs> <laughs> Blame Cooked Crab for this one. Beats Kuro, gives away Ly Lycan. Probably he just likes Enigma better. Game of Eve throwing, take cool crap, now banned permanently from my chat. <laughs> I think it's just a case of maybe they thought we wouldn't have someone who was good on him, or I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why they think Lycan is bad. Yeah, I was wondering too. There's, the there's no splitter, reason to think Lycan is bad. We we got off an Earth Splitter that um didn't do any damage to the uh, IO. Oh, in bottom though, you're gonna kill the Lycan? Nice. Wow, really? Well done. See, this is what I mean. Meepo could do a lot. He's under attack. He he needs to do a lot. Like, but so far I haven't really felt the power from him. With three Meepos, I can be a little bit more of a believer in it. Oh wait, they saw the wire moving. They got yep. it. Yeah. See, see, Pretty this cool. is you just need your Meepo to do this a little bit, and I think you guys are right just fine. Because if we don't, there's a window right where the Meepo this... is just like we can't do shit. Yeah, and that window's coming up, but it, it really depends Radiant's on like, because he's going to pick up a blink dagger now. I, if he can get kill after kill, then you're actually looking... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I think Chocobo... Nor... Oh, no, no, he walks out of it using the Grave Chill. Earth Splitter as well. You guys get the deny, though, and Chocobo, oh, I think, still feeds. 
feet. Yeah. He's got go. like. Uh, we've oh, he's one dead. off now, but yeah, he's gone. Yeah, we got some end birds. Oh no. This I, I is what I mean it. about Visage. You don't know how to play Visage. You're just feeding the enemy gold after gold. I don't know if cook crap. Like, I, I... Oh, wow. Okay. Like Bio Rod, my little special friend. Uh, Freaking tether and just use damage. Oh, wait, that actually Manalik the Wyvern. Well, yeah, I think. Yeah, you had, you had to run that one out. Oh, the song. That's good. I like that. I like saving your teammates will lose. You got them. You got them. We have Wyvern ult up though, so if you guys come push this tower, you might get in a bit Meepo of trouble. Is... Hey, if Hookcrab doesn't feel confident attack. on this hero, he may not go for the Blink Dagger. Oh wow. There okay. it is. Yeah, now the where's the follow up thing, damage? You still got Shadow Wave, and you got a... Okay, that Ice Blast isn't great. Too far off target again. We got ourselves a Cook Crab though, we have him netted. He's, oh, no. Oh, he's... He's, 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 he's trying to tread switch it. He's trying he's to try switch it out so he can poop and do other things. I think I think you're all just you're fine. You're got... walking into this. Okay, we just walked into all of that. We'll lose getting very low. Oh, did we pop? We popped the Meepo, but I think Malachavet dies too. See, look, it's nice and even. They just need the Meepo to be here. I think Shikoba's gonna die again. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's gonna walk it off. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, Lycan yeah. doing Lycan things. You guys don't have a pusher, though. Uh, you have D push, but... I think that's the scary part. Until uh, this meepo gets a pusher is we kill your entire team and meepo pushes. Yep. Like that's that's our push scenario. Your push scenario is Lycan gets given space, he triggers necro books and wolves, and then takes towers. <laughs> we got it. It's it's actually it's 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 okay. I think I think it's it's going okay. Your meepo's just gotta show up. He and as you said, maybe he's not super comfortable. He has the blink, but he's just gotta practice. You know, practice the combo three or four times. I like how Lycan while he's dead goes into the chat. It's like, yeah, picking Lycan was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree, bro. I think that, yeah, giving... Also... Now fo focus on your game. Like, all you gotta do... For crap, all you gotta do is just wait for the right target. You blink in instant earthbind, proof in every single Meepo you got. And you just get kill after kill after kill. Like, this opportunity in mid lane is so damn good. Yeah, knowledge of it is way too far up. That is... My and team, they know that's it. the like, other they thing. They have observer wards. Like, like my team instantly team. should have known what was going on then and just gone for it. Your team has amazing vi Actually, this is- okay, this is a little shit. But uh, other than that, your team has really good vision. <laughs> other than the slight overlap. I think because some of the wards are timing out soon. Nope. That's a fresh one. Oh, I think that, that happens, you know. You're playing with yeah. people you don't know. Who I've um, also at least is not the double the spot. Fuck out of there, bro. Oh no, oh no. You're fine, your whole team is there. Wolfman can't do shit. Okay, yeah, uh, Wyvern, it doesn't though. matter, because now, now your fucking Visage is, is split pushing top lane. So even if we do take it like a favorable engagement oh, here in no. mid. Here it is. I... Well, Luz is kind of low, though. Oh, He's that's a good bottling. time to get a four star. That's a really yeah. good time to have a four star come in. Oh, no. And oh. so they four star itself into the split up. And then they all get fucking cursed. I don't know if that was the best Winter's Curse, because we were still doing a bit of damage, but the Lycan, he's going for it. Can Cook Crab take them down? He's got an Earthbind on the Lycan. Oh, gosh. More proof. You just need poof, more proof. Just poof? He needs more proof. Oh, no. Okay, I, I thought he would be like a 5k. I thought we were going to find out that Cook Crab was like 7k because he picks Meepo every game, but it's not it's not looking like it. Oh, this is this is troublesome, guys. I think I think Team One, House One, will be Dyer's going to the lower bracket. No, we're we're. I still believe in your Meepo. He can do it. Look at how low my idiots are. Come on, my idiots. You gotta you gotta back up. You gotta heal. You gotta be safe. That's the other thing we haven't talked about. But like, I think when it comes to lineups, that if they get a big injection of bomb, you know, Meepo. A, a, that would love a lot, and I can see our team doing a bit of an overextension, thinking they're strong. Like, look at where Jacobo is right now, taking tower hits. Gotta lose some more birds. He's fine. Oh. Ice blast off dead. target. Yeah. He should be a hundred percent dead. Oh, these... more offense. Okay. More on target. Okay, Jacobo, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Okay, he should still be dead, right? Oh my gosh. I have no words. I'm sorry, Toby. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Um, these things happen. 
I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, really, you should blame Ice Frog for that one. He changed Weave so it no longer gives flying vision. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't even know what to say here. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay, here's a push, though. I don't think... I don't know if my team Radiant wants to defend. We're not really in position. Now, that's better. That's a better execution. Yeah. Well played, well played. That's that's the combo into the physical damage from the Shadow Wave. Mid lane, however, is a Pandy out. Blinding Light. They don't need- oh no. Blinding Light. Blinding Light, it pushes them back and stops them from attacking the tower. There's 100% miss chance. Blinding Light. You, you're in ulti form. You don't have to stand in there to channel Illuminate. Blinding oh, Light. No. Continue. Fucking blinding fucking light. Blinding <laughs> fucking light. Blinding fucking- <laughs> <laughs> also, our guy Winter cursed the Meepo and killed himself. It was so you sad. had one job, one job. <laughs> our one K four hundred ping player killed the Meepo. <laughs> Winter's cursed, and they were cold, chilling, touched. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You're right. Blinding light. You. You should. You should give him a heads up on that one. Maybe you, I, you should all chat that. Just let him know blinding lights a good spell. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna blame this on the lichen. Let's be real. This this is one of the reasons why like, I guess I know some people get really pissed off when they play with their subs because you watch things like this and you understand what they should be doing. <laughs> And they and they just and they just don't do it. And like everyone has these kind of moments. Oh yeah. But yeah. but like it's really difficult because you don't want to get angry at your viewers at your subs because you like you want people to come and enjoy um, your stream, right? Yeah. I think so, Vanessa I, does all random, so she'll do all random, and it makes it so that no one can get mad because it's random. You know, you just assume. Oh no, 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 you. That's definitely ways you can <laughs> easily get mad with that shit. Like you want to put someone on a hero which is they're not comfortable with. That's where problems kick in. Mm. Yeah, oh, okay. What, what? Oh, no, Naga has the radiance. When did that happen? Oh my god, we're gonna get mass stomped and oh. then split. Oh god, here it comes. Am I in... Okay, Cook Crab, I think, is just gonna get punched to death. Oh gosh, you can't shallow grave them all. Your team is trying so hard. But they're just getting eaten by a wolf. That's a level fucking three necro book destroying everything that we own. <laughs> now we're plotting at it. I'm, I'm blaming Cooked Crab for this. He clearly fell asleep at the wheel, giving them the lichen. Oh no, you, I don't think you could even blame Cooked Crab for this. Like, you can clearly see, and this is the reason why you don't all random with your viewers. Because, like, he is not comfortable on this hero at all. It's the same with the Ancient Apparition. Why GG is not predicting the movement? So he's yeah. never really gonna hit Nolfin. It's really rough too, because AA, I think of it as a hero that most people played some, but you're right, if you don't play Clockwork, if you don't... <laughs> Yeah, I may have wow. played the Ned Kelly song before we <laughs> before we loaded up the game. If you don't if you don't play like Clockwork, if you don't play you know Invoker or something, and you're used to trying to predict movement, you might not know how to play AA. Even though I think AA is one of the easier ones, but if you just don't ever do it, yeah. Nice no, cooked. It's okay, cooked. I still I still believe in you, cooked. You're gonna get murder this guy. Yeah. Oh, what the shit is? He built a freaking shadow blade on Visage. <laughs> The worst part is, yeah, you know what? He built the Shadow Blade because he can't micro the damn birds. He's fed you guys birds four or five times. So he's decided, I'm just going to play shitty Visage Hero. He, he was able to trick a Shadow Blade. They don't know. They're looking up on the hillside. He's not oh on the hillside. God. It's a oh Visage. It is a Visage. <laughs> he is not capable of it. He didn't even have a TP scroll on him. So he definitely hasn't TP'd out. And he also can't transcend cliffs. Jacobo he may be is a winged the best. fucking rat, but that doesn't mean he can transcend cliffs. Oh my gosh. Jacobo He has no is... idea, by the way, what's happening inside yeah. that base. Like, he has no fucking clue. Oh, he's gonna sell something by a TP? Oh, they, they can see him now, though. Yeah, he... he oh, he if just he got enough down. water to TP, though. Yeah, he's, he's good. Jacobo! Jacobo! Fucking god. <laughs> Don't worry guys, we'll make a highlight of Chocobo's jukes. Oh my gosh. Oh no no. Okay, they're fine. He uh, he messed up that somehow. What hit them to wake him this up? Is, this is better. Um, oh, no, 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 no. You need to hit your earth bomb before you start your poop. I think... Earth, yeah, I think Cookie Cooked is a little bit uncomfortable with the earth bind because you can see he's not throwing very many of them either. 
So I think I think you're right. The the reverse draft, for Dirtmore's sake, we probably shouldn't do any more reverse draft. Because <laughs> I think everybody's just suffering right now. <laughs> I thought I thought reverse draft would be the funniest, but actually, it's just. Forcing people it's, to play it's people. It's painful for every single person that hates playing these heroes. Or can never and play these heroes. The worst part with Meepo, I feel like Meepo you lose a lot more than Visage if you don't ever press R, you know? If you don't get the uh, the ult. So like, Visage is like, whatever, I'll Shadow Blade do some damage, come on and like, move fast after them. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Jacobo is now Seagot. <laughs> to my chat. We'll, we'll try to make sure we maximize the fun in all other things, but... Gosh, Elder Titan also, this is the thing, I know he's not picked in competitive, but people think that means he's a bad hero, no, I no, really don't he think he's in bad. China. Yeah. In China, like, like, if you look at the Chinese pubs, like, E.T.'s picked very, very highly in combination with Zeus. I think, yeah. I just, right. he, he's very strong with natural order, and like... It's a good draft on my team, taking advantage of getting an Elder Titan to pick you weak ones. This fucking massage. This fucking massage. <laughs> Wait, what? Does he have the Solar Crest now? What? What the? He's just. What is he doing? What are you doing, Jacob? Uh, he's just waiting for the right moment to strike. He's gone for. Oh no. Great job. Dyer's bottom tower. Io is also a rough one. I think Io, you can't do anything if you don't have a good core. That's really smart because you know you're not picking them a good core. The the, the damage from the Io, like it's actually not that bad. Teddy trying to convince me once that like Wisp in mid is really really good because the amount of physical damage you can pump out with him is unbelievable. Nice, nice scap, scap a, scap a. Scap -a. Uh, we yeah. don't have a stun anyway. Oh, actually, we have blinding light, but that's not going to save anyone. Wisp, Wisp is on tilt. <laughs> it is okay, Wisp. We know. Reverse Captain's mode is an ass. We will not be working with it again. We got you. We got you. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Only... Only flame me and Toby, please, guys. Only only flame us. Don't, don't flame the teams. I flame oh, Llama for choosing the mode. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be fun! I thought it would be fun! I really thought it would be, like, really funny, like, people making funny mistakes because they don't know what they're doing. And instead, as you said, it's just like watching, like, it's like watching baby deer trying to walk and just slip and slide and all over the ground. And you're just like, please stand up, baby deer. Please stand up. And I'm like, oh no. The hunter starts aiming with his rifle, and then BOOM! Everything is just fucking... GG, well done, Mama. Enjoy your, <laughs> enjoy your semi-final. I'm sorry! I thought Reverse CM would be fun! Oh. Either way, thank you so much for playing with us. I think a lot of people had a lot of fun. Everybody in chat's laughing their asses off. Um, everybody... Oh, I, I'm glad your chat's having fun. <laughs> yeah, everybody in chat is like, uh... So I think at least five people had fun in chat. Thank you so much for playing, Toby. I had a lot of fun. It was great costing with you and so on. Um, I'm going to go I'm off down and... With, I'm down with Tony Loco. My mistake was I played fair. Yeah, that's clearly the problem. We're Australians. What the shit were we doing playing fair? Yeah. <laughs> Never trust yeah. an Australian. Um, Gotta fucking like, steal everyone. <laughs> who are you? Do you know who you're up against in the lower bracket yet? Or No idea. Is it the loser of Purge and so on? Or are we? is it flipped bracket? I have no idea. I, I will be told by Slacks at one point what happens. But Either way, thank you so much for fun. showing up. I think my viewers uh, were very happy to hear and well, see from you. It was good times. It was good times. Next time, maybe we meet in the grand final. We can do it. rematch. I think we're all going to get dumpstered by Purge, let's be honest. Maybe. He taught Probably. his viewers how to play Dota. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble. But then again, you have a whole bunch of random people that just come into his chat that yeah. will then be selected. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh... Wait, they don't know how to play. They're all just starting to learn Dota, and that's where you win. That is true. If he gets, if he picks five people who are the, um, you're welcome to Dota. You suck. Mhm. Mm you got it. You got it. Yeah, beautiful. All right, I'm I'm gonna end my stream now. So uh, thanks for playing, Lava. Good Thank luck you in so the next much round. as well. See you guys all next time. How do I stop it? This team speak. Okay, guys, we're.